generally are public record. And all the articles that you can look at and anything you can possibly look at, can you find a single human being that had a heart attack and did not have elevated fat around their heart first? And the answer is always no. You have heart surgeons, literally. Dr. Phil Ovadia spent years cutting through this and never once knew about it and thought about it. But now he's beginning, Phil Ovadia, uh, shout out to him. He's, he's finally getting, he's on board with that it's not cholesterol. He knows it's this heart fat. So he's, he's now speaking out against uh, uh, epicardial adipose tissues and the technical term heart fat. But yet, this is what we got to do. We need a public awareness campaign about this dangerous fat. You are the first podcaster to invite me on to talk about it. So take your <laughs> hand for having me on board. Well, the where my mind goes with this is that this is a relatively small amount of fat, right? So how come when we burn fat, when we you know go through the typical means of losing fat? Because I mean, I, I want to cut to the chase of what I know people want, right? Like they they okay, like I I I believe you. I have some heart fat even if I'm healthy on the outside, right? What? How come we lose fat at an exponential rate in other areas before we lose it there? Because that's like not that much fat. I mean, if you had to guess, how many pounds or grams of fat is that, or ounces? Yeah. 